What's going on? This is James from All Hail Internal Combustion. Back on our uh, D16A6, where plastic the gauging, the conrod bearings to make sure they're still in spec, and we're going to get our color codes off of them as well so that we know what size bearings we're ordering. So uh, I cut a plastic gauge already here. Just dropped it, cut another one. Uh, it's just like the main bearing. It's basically the same thing, obviously, just different numbers, different area. So you want your connecting rod bearing area to be nice and clean. Okay. There's our plastic gauge right in the middle. We're going to take our piston. Now Hondas are stamped with an arrow that faces towards the front and IN for intake which is actually on the back side of the motor when it's sitting in the car. So at least on these years the newer Hondas are spun around the other way. So you're connecting rod right up and plate in there. You know normally these tabs for the bearings go against each other but the numbers are also stamped on these pistons so either way that's the reference let me get these two nuts on here and we did remove the piston rings off the pistons so they would slide into the bore easier that way you don't have to fight them going in just to get your measurement on your connecting rods and 23 foot pounds is what we're torquing these to. So I'm going to try to snug them down real good and then bring them to torque. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. So we did. Cylinder one and four is the one I'm tightening now so that they're equal on the crank. So it's easy to do these two because you can't spin once you have your plastic gauge in there. It needs to stay still. So, and there we go. We're torqued in. these loose and we'll measure them out figure out what they are and figure out what the specs are and see if they're within spec I'll just go ahead and pull the piston all the way out Oh, shit. These connecting rod caps are a little bit of a pain in the ass. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully we didn't smear our other reading on our number four piston. We'll have to get that. I think it fell right down into the oil passage. And so did that one. All right, looks like we're okay. Number four. All right, get our plastic gauge measurement device out here and let's say we're at about 38 thousandths on number four and about the same on number one. 
come over here to the book and the number should be here somewhere for connecting rod uh, yeah here we go rod bearings clearances uh, standard new rod bearings uh, that's not what we want well point zero two to point zero three eight millimeters so we're at the loose end of our service limit uh, so actually it's saying service limit could be point zero five out of point zero three eight so you could be point zero five millimeters bigger than that so those two pistons are within service limit there so uh, basically what we need to do now is get our color code on these, they are marked with a number. They're marked with a number on the piston and a letter on the crankshaft. So for number one and four, so number one is going to be, or number four is a B. And number one is a B. So uh, number four is a two. So it's a B2. If we come over here to our chart, it's just like the other one, it's just backwards. So a B here and a number two. Number four is going to be a yellow bearing. And let's check the number on the number one piston. Number one piston, I think, was a three. Go around. Yes. Three. So that's going to be a yellow bearing for number four and a green bearing for number one. So those are the two numbers for one and four. Now you repeat the process with uh, cylinder two and three here in the middle. So we'll bring them up top like this. Make sure there's no oil on that. Remember, you don't want anything in between creating a gap for these. Yeah. Wipe them down nice. All right, we're back here. We got wrote our numbers down, our letters. We had to find a pen. The number that's on the piston the letter that's on the crank, and the bearing, and what our tolerance was were. We're documenting everything, so I got some plastic gauges. You may have wondered why my fingers were like that. We thought you were just scaling internal combustion. Right. All right, so we got these plastic gauges on here. And the more, there we go. All right. Now number two is towards the back. Number three is towards the front. Make sure we got it in, oriented correctly. Slide it up to the bottom. Now slide it up to the top. All right. Get my third hand in there. Wow. And as you can probably hear in the background, our chickens are out having a field day. So uh, that's what that noise is. All right. Number two in there. Facing forward. Intake. Something got them all excited over there. Plastic gauge got a little twisted there. Of course it did.
Now remember, we wiped these out, made sure they were clean. So there wasn't anything but the plastic gauge, the metal, and the bearings inside there. I'm going to torque them to 23. General rule of thumb that we use, if it's below 30, we don't bother going halfway. I'm sure someone else somewhere will tell you different, but that's just what we do. before I don't ever break anything loose with my torque wrench so. speeder wrench Taking a chance here that those caps won't just fall off those pistons. Of course, they don't do that any other time, but this would be the time that they'd do it. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Look at that, it came right off that time. Okay, there's number two out. Okay, number three out. gauge doobie bobber here and 38 thousands that's the magic number we're looking for 38 thousands so our bearings wore very very evenly we're going to write that down 0 0.038 i said 38 thousands that's uh not the same for metric i'm sure um anyway so just make sure that you're measuring in the same if you're reading metric in the book that you're using a metric plastic gauge we go back and forth we just happen to have the right size plastic gauges to use metric so now let's get our numbers and our letters off of our piston so on the crank this is a b that's a b looks like the entire crank was B size bearings on the inside. Okay, and then our pistons are what number of pistons is that? Number two. Number two is a two. Number two is a number two, which would give us a yellow. And this is a number three. And number three is a number three, which would give us a green. So we documented all that stuff so that we know what we're doing here. Uh, we're going to pack our pistons and all of our internals for our motor away into a box until we order bearings and rings. And that's it for checking your tolerances on your connecting rods. And until next time, all hail internal combustion. Okay, and I wanted to show you guys how we came up with our color codes for our bearings. It's basically the same chart that was in for the main bearings color-wise. But as you can see, our number one piston had a B stamped on the crank. Number two on the rod, so that would give us a yellow. So if you come down here, B2, yellow. So the next one is a B2, 
also yellow. Then we had a B3, which would be green. And then we had another B3, which would be green. So for our Conrods, yellow, yellow, green, green. And we're going to call Honda and see what we can get our hands on. Thanks for watching, guys. All hail internal combustion.